Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today, I bring to you another what is on my fashion radar. Now, if you know me by now, if you've been following me for a while, I don't necessarily have everything on this list that's current. It may have been out for six months, a year maybe. <laughs> but at the moment, I feel like it'll fit for my wardrobe, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna get into the list. Some of the stuff is from, I wanna say last year, possibly ending of last year. Maybe, maybe mid, maybe mid. <laughs> but I think the things are pretty affordable on this list. Um, I don't think anything is over, let me double check. I don't think everything, anything is over $500 maybe, I think. The list is mixed with a few different things uh, from accessories to shoes to bags. I don't have many clothing items. Now, for the girls who are tall, we already struggle with finding pants, but for whatever reason, I feel like shirts are like, really nice tops are really hard to come by. So when I see something, I just grab it, and I don't really think about the price, but that's solely because I can't find really nice tops, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna get into the list, and the first item on my list is the, I think it's called, Caperni or Caperni, maybe Caperni. It's their heart bag. Absolutely love this bag. It's very slim in style. Let me slide over and pop in a picture. It's very slim in style. It's it's cute. I like it. It's affordable, and right now it's on sale like everywhere. So you can probably get it for four hundred dollars. I've seen it for three something on some sites that are not here in the US, but I love the bag. They do have a midi version and a mini. The mini is not so mini, but they do have a really nice red color in a mini, which I may end up getting. And they have a denim color that's really cute in the mini. And then they have like a tan color in black that are in the mid size. They used to carry red in the midi size, but they don't anymore and they should because it's so pretty but this is a really really cute bag affordable like i said this is on my fashion radar i know for me it's something that i'm gonna wear in the springtime because it's chill i won't have to carry a ton of stuff in it and you also don't want to really pack in too much stuff in the bag so if you're gonna bring like sunglasses or something out i would say maybe keep the case in your car <laughs> because the case will be kind of bulky and the bag is pretty flat but this is a bag that's on my fashion radar i think it's affordable i think it's really cute if that is your style guys so that's number one on my fashion radar for this month the second item are a pair of slingback shoes from tom ford they're just a simple slingback white pair of leather shoes now i put them on the list because they have like a croc style they're called the angelina embellish pump however stuart weissman okay <laughs> sam edelman and there's one other place that's affordable i want to say steve madden have something very similar if not the exact style but very very similar to the shoe but a slingback shoe is on my radar in white for a reason because I have a white pair of pumps and they're kind of high. They're not high. I just feel like this spring I want to be super comfortable and cute at the same time and not have to worry about wearing a heel and taking off my shoes if I go somewhere. You get my drift? So these slingback shoes are on my fashion radar, but again, you can definitely find an affordable pair anywhere and I'll link some below for you guys that's a because they're a kitten heel child that's a kitten heel <laughs> and then I'll try to link some that have like an average heel height for you ladies but that is number two on my fashion radar for this month the other shoe would be the Dries Van Newton shoes that are the cut out they're like heels the heel is very different it's a really nice nice unique shape now they do go up to a size 41 which is an 11. 
The only thing about the shoe is that the toes on the sides are hanging out, right? So if you have a slightly wider foot, it may spread. I don't know, but I'm thinking. But they're so cute. So if I could find a pair that caters to like maybe a one size up or possibly, hmm, I don't even want to say wide width because I know they don't sell it because we just know they don't sell it. But these are all my fashion radar. They're super cute. And I want to say IJ has them as well. I think. I'm almost certain. But they're really cute and I think it's the opposite for them. Like the two toes are, one toe is in on one shoe and the toe is out on the other shoe if that makes sense but these are on my fashion radar like I said they do go up to a 41 um, I don't know the how they fit in size so if you do feel like you would need a, a size size up it ain't the shoe for you but I would say keep searching because you never know what they will bring in stock later on but these are on my fashion radar for this month next item are these earrings now it's from a brand called Natia X Laco. I think I'm pronouncing it right. She had a pair of key earrings. And your girl just kept them in her buckets and now they're gone. But they were so freaking cute. Now these, on the other hand, are cute as well. They have them in with a black base in the background. And they also have them with a green color and like a burgundy-ish red. It's like a deep red color. But I really like the green and I really like the black pair. Now these are $241. For some of you ladies who may not want to purchase something that is not gold um, for that much, then they're not for you. But I want to say that these are brass. I like brass. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you buy, if you buy anything that's brass from any like... Um, African vendor because they tend to have like really nice brass jewelry all you have to do is use Brasso to clean it and it literally goes back to shiny gold again I use Brasso all the time on some bracelets that I purchased like so many years ago maybe over 25 years ago all I have to do is clean up with Brasso and they give off a really nice gold color. When I don't clean up, they give me more of a vintage uh, gold, if that makes sense. But these earrings are super, super cute. They're on my fashion radar. I'm going to pull the trigger eventually um, <laughs> because I really like them. And I think they look really good with your hair pinned up. Because the earrings are so dramatic, I want them to show. So they are brass, which I absolutely love. The only thing is that they're not a clip-on. Clip-on would have been perfect because they look like they could be heavy but they are for pierced ears so these are on my fashion radar for this month and i absolutely love them they're, like i said they're affordable still they're not they're not super expensive <laughs> let me not say affordable i don't think they're super expensive because they are just brass earrings so it's kind of up to you what you guys think about the earrings i love them like i said i would definitely wear them with my hair pull back so you could actually get the full effect of the earrings and the last item is this dress from source unknown now i am still waiting for a sweater from them uh, okay it's been a while but i'm still waiting this is the dua vase midi dress so for the girls who do not have hips look at this dress okay it has a little silhouette on the sides to give you the illusion of some hips so if that is your thing and you a girl like me who don't have any hips check it out it's affordable i believe the dress is 125 not super expensive um but it's unique it's different it's on my fashion radar for this spring and this month they only have it in white right now which is still very pretty I usually don't wear all white however a lot of my arms are out and my neck is out so I'll give it a try if you guys don't know I have a warm tone skin undertone and white usually drowns me out unless I have my neck or my arms showing I have to have some other part of my body showing like skin wise uh, so like right now this top looks white but it's actually like a light yellow cream situation going on not super super stark white but this dress is super cute it does run a small medium to a small medium 
to a large extra large so which is kind of like uh for me so in my head I'm thinking that it runs small but this is on my fashion radar for this month and I kept this list pretty small this month nothing super expensive but definitely affordable and very trendy and stylish guys so source unknown does have other dress styles and tops so definitely check them out you guys already know the infamous sweater that I bought that comes off the shoulder but they do have other tops that are light knit weight for the spring if you would like to wear like an, an I don't want to say it's knit, but it does have a little bit of weight to it. So check out Source Unknown, but those are the five items on my fashion radar for this month that I absolutely love and I am going to think about getting each item and when I do, I am going to share that with you ladies. But thank you guys for tuning into this video. Let me know what you guys think about each item that I mentioned. Do you guys create a fashion radar list so you don't over shop? That is one of the reasons why I love to do it is because I see something that I like and then I sit on it. Do I really need it in my closet? You know, I'll do like another little search through my wardrobe, try on some things, thinking how it could actually fit in my wardrobe. I don't just buy things just to buy them and I don't buy things and just return them. I really like to buy things that I'm gonna wear that fit my frame and you guys know as tall women, we really can't play. Like we have to get the thing at the time that it comes out. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog CocoStylesNYC.com and my style services CocoStylesNY.com and I'm on tickety tickety talk until it's gone <laughs> CocoStylesNYC and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.